Release the Kraken! Welcome back, fellow game designers. In our last video, we went ahead and created Leon's eye. And in this one, we're going to start putting together Leon's face. So, before we do anything else, let's go ahead and save our work. We're on Leon 7. We should save this as Leon 8. Remember to save in iterations so that if you make a mistake, you can always go back. And I'll jump into the front view here. Let's grab Leon's mouth. And I'm going to go into Edge Selection. Double click this outer ring. I'll hit extrude. And I'm going to go ahead and turn off symmetry real quick. That way I can get a nice uh, green arrow that I can pull out. I'll just pull that to make the beginning of Leon's uh, chin and nose section. So I'll go into vertex selection and start shaping this out. So I'll grab these, make sure I'm in uh, symmetry again. I'll pull these ones all the way down to the chin. Pretty good. Uh, this outer corner right here, this is going to form the beginning of the laugh line. So the laugh line defines an area of the mouth that is responsible for you know laughing and that little crease in here as you get older. Any other um, shapes that your mouth can make are really defined by the curvature of this line. And you can see the mouth is really just a bunch of rings of concentric circles and then up connecting to the nose and then down through the chin we have this outer band. You want to have enough layers here so that when the mouth moves ah, we can squeeze in that fleshy area and cause the correct shape. So I've got the corner of the mouth, I've got the starting of the laugh line and then up here we're going to start making an area to connect to the nose. So with these, I'll go ahead and pull some of this down a little bit, pull this out. And I need to add an extra cut in here so that we can have a spot for the nostril. So I'm going to go up, get my multi-cut tool, and then in between my uh, filtrum and the angle of my lip here, I'm going to go ahead and just hold control and then make a cut. There we go. And now if I go into my perspective view, see what we got. You can grab these right here in the middle. You can hit extrude. I'm going to hit W to get a straight arrow and then pull up. Very good. I'm going to hit R to scale and I'll scale straight down. And let's go to our side view. And just to compare, our side view and our front view are a little bit off as far as um, the images are concerned. So I'm going to use my front view mainly for my width and my height, and I'm going to use my side view for my depth. Okay, but you can see here, this is slightly above the nose, this one's slightly below the nose. You got to sometimes kind of figure out the middle ground. So I'm just going to pull this forward for the depth, and then I'm going to hit extrude again, and then W for a straight line. I'll pull that up. And then I want to do that again, hit W, pull that up, and I want to make this bridge of the nose here. I'm going to come back. Now again, this is slightly off of the image because our front view is a little bit shorter than our side view. So try not to let that bug you. But we're back into uh, the bridge of the nose here, and I want to go and hit extrude. I'll go to my front view here. Hit W to get a straight arrow, and I'll pull that up to make the front of the forehead. I think that's good. And come down to around the jaw area. I'm going to pull in the vertices around the chin. So I'll grab these, I'll pull that back to the chin. And I'll go to vertex mode. I'll just widen this out. That's pretty good. Starting of the chin there. I'll grab these bottom edges here. So edge mode, uh, bottom edges. I'll hit extrude, W, and I'll pull that down and back. This looks pretty good. 
In my perspective view, you can see that's a bit rough. I'm going to take these edges in the front, hold shift, hold right click, and then I will bevel. That's going to split that for us. And then we end up with an ingon and a triangle. To get rid of that, I'm just going to uh, merge this down. Get my target weld tool. I'll grab this edge here and just grab the next one and merge down. And now we have a quad and we can always fill this in as we go. Looks pretty good. Get my multi-cut tool and I want to make this section on the on the chin here. You can see that's we need to put a cut in there. So I'm going to hold down the control key and I'll add a cut. Go back into my side view get vertex selection, I'll grab these, hit W and I'll pull those in. And I'll make an adjustment just to really define that chin. Grab that corner, I'll just pull this back, define this space a little bit better, get this one And let's check in our perspective view. And probably go a little bit wider. How far back are we? Yeah. So I'll grab this one and this one. I'll just widen and then widen. Get these. All right, let's go ahead and start building in this nose. I'm gonna go into edge selection here. I grab this one and just pull out forward. I can go up here, get this uh, vertex in the middle, pull that forward. Get that one, I'll pull that one forward. Just to round off that. Go into edge selection. I'm gonna grab this edge here, hit extrude. And I'll hit W to get a straight arrow, pull that out. And I'll pull that back against the face. Let's check my side view. I think that's good. And then under here for the septum, we need to split this. So I'm going to go into um, multi cut, and I'll put a cut here, and then a cut here. Let's go into edge, grab this edge here, hit W, and I'll pull that in. So I'm defining the nostril, get my multi-cut tool, put a cut about here and then one about there. And this is going to let us start forming that side of the nostril. So I'll grab that in face selection and then kind of pull that out. Go to edge, I'll grab that, pull that. Okay, let's get this, I'll move this up some. Go ahead and move this back. Get these guys. I'll move this a little bit more forward. And I want to connect this to here. So on this face. So here to there. Target weld tool. I'll get this to there. That's better. And then to fill in the nostril, let's go into edge selection. You go and get these edges. So all around the nostril. Hit extrude. And then I'm going to go up to edit mesh and then hit merge center. And it's going to collapse that extrusion in the middle there. I'll grab the vertex. Let's make sure we're in vertex mode. Hit W and just pull that up, like that. And now we can really start forming this outer section of the face here. This is a little bit bunched, so I'll go in, I'll get these vertices here, and I'll hit B for soft select, hold down the B key, left click and drag to adjust my radius. I'll pull these out some. 
check my work in my perspective view. That corner. We can start filling in this section of the laugh line, so I'll go into edge mode. I'll grab this and this. We turn off soft select by hitting B. Now I'll grab this bottom one, so these three. Extrude. I'll turn off symmetry. And then I'll pull the green arrow up. Looks pretty good. You use the blue arrow, pull that back a bit. Yeah. Go into uh, vertex selection, turn on symmetry. I'll grab this vertex here. I'll go ahead and move it just so we can see that opening. Target weld tool, and we will weld this one to that. that. Looks pretty good. And now you can see we have a convenient spot for the next section. This will connect here, and that will connect there. So let's do that. I'm going to grab this. And you can see our eye is actually a quite a bit of ways back, farther back than I think we need it to be. Go into object selection. I'm going to grab the outer eye and the eyeball. Get my move tool. And I'm going to go into my side view and I'm just going to visually move this forward a bit. Because Leon's drawn like an anime character, which does not give us the most accurate representation of a face but I think that's better. Okay, now we can start welding these up. So, object mode, grab that and the face. Let's go up to um, combine. And let's clear the history all by type, history. Now we have the eye on one part of the face here, but we need it on the other part of the face. Go into my front view. Let's go into face selection. I'm going to go up to symmetry, turn that off, and I will select halfway through my face. And just double check your selection, make sure you don't have anything extra. So no extras there, no extras on the back, it's a very clean selection. Delete it. And I'll go back to my front view, object mode. Get my move tool, and you can see that my move tool, my widget is off center. I'll press D to unlock, hold down the X key, and I'll drag that back to the center line. D again to lock, and let's go ahead and mirror. Mesh, mirror options. Uncheck uh, cut, we should be copying in the world. We're going to combine with original. Make sure we have custom set to 0 0.001, and then hit mirror. Yay. So now we have both halves of Leon's face, but we can just duplicate the eye, Control D to duplicate, and I'll change the position here to a negative uh, value, and that'll just jump over like that. Let's go ahead and rename it. This is going to be eye right, because this is Leon's right side of his face. It's on his right. This is going to be the left eye, so eye left. Now the reason I put the eye or the object name first is I think it works out better for organization. If you look inside your list here and you're looking for an eye, you can easily pick out the eye. Pretty handy. Okay, so now that's the thing. Let's go ahead and start merging this. So edge selection, I'll grab these two. Hold shift, hold right click, bridge. Good. I want to bridge these, but I need to put a cut here. So I'm going to go and get my multi-cut tool. And I'll put a cut right about there. I'm going to hit Q to turn the tool off. Grab this part, grab that part. And bridge. Now, I didn't have symmetry on as I did that. So I'm going to go over here and just do that manually. I'll grab these. 
and then hold shift, hold right click, bridge. Since that's the only thing I've changed in my symmetry, I should be able to match it. Let me go up to symmetry, object X, and just make sure that symmetry is working. It is. If your symmetry broke, just mirror your face again and you should be fine. Okay. Now to connect this up, let's go into edge selection, get my multi-cut tool, and let's go ahead and cut in two sections here. So I'll hold control, and then cut, and then I'll put one more edge in right about there. And now I have enough to bridge across. So this one to this one, this one to that one, that one to that one, this one to that one, and lastly, this one to that one. So all of these should be bridgeable. Hold shift, hold right click, and then bridge, and that should fill in that section of the face. Okay. Down here, let's go ahead and uh, weld the chin. So target weld tool, vertex selection, I'll weld the chin, like so. Let's go ahead and shape out this cheek area. Just move these down and around to form that cheek. Now it just so happens that your eye is what shapes your cheekbone. And since we built our eye earlier, the cheekbone's almost done for us. You just have to adjust the vertices. Back in here, let's move these in to really define that nose. It's quite wide. And Leon could have a wide nose, but I don't think he has a wide nose in the picture, so we should be okay with making adjustments here. Let's smooth this off and round the front. Let's grab these, pull that back, and then pull it in. Yeah. That looks better. Put these in some more. I think I can get these to go in. looking a bit better. I'm not too happy with this corner though. That's way too far in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to narrow the mouth. I'm going to come into my side view. Way back here on this mouth, you can see this goes pretty deep into the face. Uh, your mouth does go a bit, but it really should be shallower. So I'm going to grab these vertices, probably about here. Let's see how far in. I think that's good. You can see the amount of stretching. I'll just pull those forward. And this one I'll pull forward. Try to round it off. Same thing here. Grab these, pull those back. Okay, and then from my front view, we really want to make sure we're matching that reference, so I'm going to go and just widen this out. That's better. Yeah, a lot better. You can really see that laugh line taking shape. Make sure I'm saving my work. I'm going to hit 3 to smooth preview, and we can take a look at what Leon's face is turning out to be. Not bad. 
Um, his eyes are quite a bit away from the nose, though. Look how far. It really depends on the face, how much space you have between the nose and the corner of the eye there. This person has a very small amount of space. Uh, she has maybe a little bit more space. She has probably about a pinky's worth of space in between there. And that's pretty common. You can see on him, the amount of space, right? And you might have somebody who has wider eyes or narrower eyes, but the amount of space we have on Leon is a lot. Like, this is almost extraterrestrial territory. So I'm gonna go into my front view here. And I want to move all this, so let's go back to Vertex Selection. I'm going to jump over to my Lasso tool, it's right below the arrow here. And that's going to let me draw a circle for selection. So I'm going to do a circle through the eye. I'm going to go around, just around the cheekbone there, to get all of that. I'll hit Q to turn the tool off, hit uh, W to turn on the Move tool. And then I will just move this whole section into the eye a little bit more. So I'm going to go toward the nose here. Now I can take a look at my perspective view to see how that's turning out. It's a lot better. I'll go to object mode. Let me select the eyeball. And now we have to recenter the eye, so I'm going to pull that in. And I want to make sure that it's Got a good even amount of spacing all around. I'll even pull it back some. I think that's better. Go ahead and just delete my other eye. I'll take this, duplicate it, Control D to duplicate. And once again, I'm just going to change the value here to a negative number. That should pop it into the correct spot. And then I'll take my eye left uh, one here and then change it to eye right again. So this should be eye left and then eye right. And that's a much better face. Very good. Last thing I want to do on this model is to take care of the upper eye and get the uh, formation of our eyebrow. Because we started making that earlier, but you can see that we're not going far enough forward. So I'm going to go in to edge selection. I'm going to grab these edges up top and these edges down here. I'm going to pull this forward to start shaping the bone structure of that eyebrow. And I think that's pretty good. Yeah. And with that bit of effort, we have Leon's face. In the next video, we're going to start working on shaping up the forehead and then the back of the head. Okay? So save your work, stay tuned, and I shall see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for checking out my channel. Misty and I both thank you. If you enjoyed that video you just watched, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, there's Lame Duck Studios merch. Grab yourself a cool hat, a sweater. You can always check out my Patreon, where you can get access to exclusive content just for my patrons as well as videos ad-free ahead of time. Or pick up one of my books. The Life and Times of Dana Martin is about a criminal psychologist who moonlights as a serial killer, and The Guardian's Path of Ascension is about five teens who realize they have the power of gods and have to save the universe. Both of those are available on Amazon. There are links down in the description. And The Guardians is going to be converted into a comic book. I'm working with my artist Patrick. We're pretty excited. We're shooting for an October release. You can see some of the uh, work that's been done here. And yeah, thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time.